College football is known for its tradition, pageantry, loyalty, and passion. Every fall Saturday, stadiums across the country are filled with fathers, sons, families, friends that would give anything to see their team win the big game. But at Texas A&M, it's different. It's bigger. A game day in Aggieland is unlike any other in the world. And on November 20th, 2010, the entire country was able to see why Texas A&M is so special. You are looking live at a sold out Kyle Field in College Station, Texas. This could be a record breaking crowd tonight. They're expected to soar pitch 90,000. When you talk about the great scenes in college football, one that belongs right near the top is right here at Aggie Land. Tonight, Texas A&M against Nebraska. Oh, it was electric. All that is right and good about college football was on full display at Aggie Land that night, including the largest student crowd to ever witness a college football game. As the anticipation built in the stands, Texas A&M took a moment to honor the Aggie seniors prior to kickoff. This truly special group of young men with a driving force behind A&M's resurgence into the national spotlight. Led by two-time All-American Vaughn Miller and quarterback Gerard Johnson, this class shattered the A&M record books. The steady leadership of Miller, Michael Hodges, and Lucas Patterson revived the wrecking crew defense, while fellow seniors Matt Allen and Terrence McCoy helped to build the Aggie offense into one of the most explosive in the country. This senior class certainly left its mark at Texas A&M, and it was time for their grand finale at Kyle Field. Shotgun again for Green at the 50, takes the snap, gonna throw it out here in the flats, and A&M, oh, they spell that out, and the tackle by Terrence Frederick, and when he grabs hold of you, he won't let go. Snaps, and that one, he fumbled the ball to the Aggies, who got the ball? I think Nebraska got it back. And play action, Tannehill running, Tannehill throwing, and a catch on the sideline, is that a completion? They are going to say, yep, it was caught. Tannehill's going to go under center first and ten, uh, second and one, rather. And they're going to throw it to Gray out of the backfield. Turns the point at 30, 25. Out he goes with the 22. The spot will be at the 19-yard line, so a 29-yard field goal. Here's the snap to hold the kick, and it's good. Entering the contest, both teams touted highly ranked defenses. They were showing why. The score was deadlocked at three apiece at halftime. Trent Hunter made the play of the half for A&M. It was this interception that halted a Husker drive. With both teams playing tough D, it was clear this one was going down to the wire. Play action, Martinez gonna throw it down in front. And it's picked off, intercepted by Hunter. Trent Hunter makes the pick. Now Tannehill, a fake in trouble. Fires, wants Fuller for the first time, and he's got it. He's got his big man. Jeff Fuller shows you why he's one of the best. And so it's going to be a 28-yard effort, Tom. All right, one for one. Here's the staff to hold and the kick, and he got it. It's two field goals to one here, guys. They're going to kick a field goal, Tom. It'll be spotted at the 19-yard line. It's a 29-yard effort. They go back to the left. Yeah, and it's a chip shot for Henry, and he just put it straight through. Midway through the fourth quarter, the score remained tied at six. All 90,000 fans rose to their feet as the Aggies took over on their own 30-yard line. Could Texas A&M make one final drive? Quick snap, Danson throwing, at Swope. That's a first down, they throw him to the ground at the 48-yard line. Gray cuts back left, cuts back right. He's still going, he's across the 30, he's down to the 28-yard line. A second down and about four. Give it to Gray one more time. He is at the 20. He is inside the 10, right at the 10. He's down there. That's Gray. And here we go with Bullock. 19-yard effort. Here's the kick, and it's straight through. There you go. No problems. Randy Bullock's third field goal of the night put AM up 9-6. Three minutes remained on the clock. The wrecking crew would have to make one more stop. Stab it in a hurry. Has outside pressure. He is tackled. He's going to be a sack back at the 30. That's a sack. 
for Texas A&M. Rolling out to his right, he's gonna throw a long ball and that's gonna be out of bounds and it is an incomplete pass. And that on downs will get Texas A&M the football. Two snaps ought to do it and the Aggies will win this game nine to six. Dave, it is a huge win for the Aggies and for the 12th man. It's snowing 12th man towels here. What's up? Incredible. Uh, we've got the best uh, best fans in college football, no doubt about it. Our 12th man supports us 100%. No one was sitting down, towels were waving. Um, you know, it was just an incredible feeling. It was so loud, they couldn't make the calls up front. They had to they had to stick with what they had, which which once they saw what we were in, and defensively, they weren't able to make adjustments, which hurt them. Kirby, I think this is one of the loudest venues in college football. I'm with you. It's, and when A&M is winning, I don't think there's a better venue. These fans stand up the entire game. What a way to close out the home schedule at Kyle Field. The Aggies, now eight and three overall, were right in the middle of a heated conference race with just one more game to go.